Welcome back to Species in News. In this episode, we explore stories from across the globe, starting with a surprising reptilian journey across the Pacific Ocean. According to a recent study published in PNAS, iguanas from Central and South America may have reached the islands of Fiji nearly 8,000 kilometers away by rafting across the Pacific Ocean on floating vegetation. These canopy-dwelling herbivores belong to the Brachylophys genus feeding mainly on leaves. They are listed as not threatened by the IUCN and appear under Sites Appendix 2. However, their survival is threatened by habitat destruction and illegal trade. Moving on, the Eurasian goshawk, a bird of prey typically found in Europe, Asia and parts of North America, was recently spotted in the Tansa Wildlife Sanctuary of Maharashtra. With broad wings and strong talons, this bird is an efficient forest predator. It is currently listed as least concerned by the IUCN. This marks a rare sighting of the species in this region. From Maharashtra, let us now head to Kerala. In Kerala's Rosemala region of Kolam district, researchers have rediscovered a rare freshwater red algae, Shithia rosemalianis. This species was previously recorded only once in India. Its presence highlights the hidden diversity of India's freshwater ecosystems to the northeast of India. The dog-faced water snake has been recorded for the first time in Assam. This mildly venomous rear-fanged snake is typically found in mangrove forest and estuarine ecosystems. It is known for its ability to tolerate both freshwater and brackish water. Water, thanks to salt excreting glands. This adaptability explains its spread into new inland habitats. From Assam, let us now move towards southern India. In a significant step for India's floricultural sector, anthurium flowers from Mizoram have been exported to Singapore. These ornamental flowers are valued not only for their aesthetic appeal but also for their ability to purify air by removing harmful chemicals such as ammonia and toluene. This effort is part of APEDA's support to promote horticultural exports from the Northeast. Now move on to Maharashtra. The invasive water hyacinth, once introduced by the British for ornamental purposes, has spread extensively in the Mula River in Pune. Known as the Terror of Bengal, it disrupts aquatic ecosystems by reducing oxygen levels and blocking sunlight. However, in a positive move, local authorities and startups are now using this planet to create baskets, biofertilizers, mats, and other eco products. Now, towards international developments. The Amur tiger, also known as the Siberian tiger, is facing a growing threat from increasing road networks in Russia and China. With only about 500 individuals remaining in the wild, road kills have emerged as a serious conservation concern. This tiger is well adapted to cold climates with its pale fur and thick coat and is listed as endangered by the IUCN. Next, talking about the Arabian region, on Yemen's Socotra island, frankincense trees of the Boswellia genus are now facing extinction due to over-harvesting, over-grazing and climate change. These trees once held a central place in trade and rituals, especially across Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. Their conservation is now a global concern. Let us return to Northeast India. A new species of snakehead fish, Chana Nachi, has been discovered in a remote stream in Meghalaya near the Simsang River. This fish creatures a creamy yellow body with marbled brown patterns and is distinct due to the absence of the usual caudal ocellus found in other snakeheads. This discovery adds to the rich aquatic biodiversity of the region. And finally, let's head to Orissa. The first ever Indian Bison Fest was organized at Debrigar Wildlife Sanctuary in Orissa. The event celebrated the Gaur, India's largest wild bovine and the state animal of Goa and Bihar. 
India is home to over 85% of the global gaur population. The festival aimed to raise awareness among local communities and promote conservation. That's all in the week's episode of Species in News. Make sure to revise these updates well. They are important for UPSC prelims, environment and biodiversity topics. We'll see you the next time with more news from the wild. Until then, keep learning and stay connected with nature.